Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Eric Foster, and this is Lunenburg Public Access Cable News for April 8th, 2020. In town news, the library, like every other town office, is closed until at least May 4th, but the staff is still available by telephone or email. There are lots of digital resources available from the library online, and Wi-Fi can also be accessed from the library parking lot. The drop boxes have been locked, so please keep all borrowed items at home until the library reopens. Staff can be reached by telephone at 978-582-4140, and that's Monday through Thursday, 9 to 5, and then 9 to 2 on Saturday. The police and fire departments are accepting donations of personal protective equipment that can be delivered to the public safety building lobby at the police station. N95 masks, goggles, gloves made of latex and nitrite, isolation gowns, coveralls, face shields, all accepted. If you need a personal face shield, I'd recommend checking the town's Facebook pages. There are many people offering some great looking home sewn masks. Town trash is still on the normal schedule of pickup trash and recycling this week. Don't expect any delays. The weather for the rest of this week will be rainy, but look forward to a nice weekend with Sunday's highs approaching the mid-60s. In school news, Lunenburg Public Schools will be using online resources to provide continuing instruction and education support to students. That includes video conferencing between educators and individual students, small groups, and virtual classes. The Lunenburg Public Schools will be using Google Classroom as the district-wide platform for all teachers and Google Meet for live sessions and video communications. Using these tools, students will be able to collaboratively create, edit, and share files and websites for school-related projects and communicate via email with other students and teachers. All school rules and behavior standards apply for remote sessions. In senior news, the Meals on Wheels program was extended to all Lunenburg residents aged 60 and older who are self-isolating in their homes. Volunteers are no longer being used to deliver meals, and meals will now be delivered by the COA director and two other staff members. Deliveries have also shifted to every other day, so the deliveries will be made on Monday and Wednesdays only, with meals for multiple days included. Clients are being asked to put a cooler outside their doors to place meals in and maintain social distancing. A new meal delivery service has also been very helpful according to the COA Heart to Home Meals for Seniors age 60 and older. Their contact information is hearttohomemeals.com or call 508-658-3000. And of course, we'll have all that information at the end of the broadcast. You might not know, but April is Citizen Science Month, which celebrates volunteers donating their time to help making real scientific discoveries. Contributions can take a wide form, but now might be the perfect time to help out. Check out their page at zooniverse.org, a platform that endeavors to bring volunteer researchers together with projects. Might find something you like. Members of our library community have been participating in citizen science projects already, including helping with pollinator research after our native bee program last year. Well, that's the news for this week. If there's something you'd like to know more about, you should let us know at lunenburgaccess at gmail.com. My name is Eric Foster. Thanks again. Have a good night.